what's going on guys, Oscar Mini here. A few weeks back I made a video, a review for the Techno Puvo 4 and based on popular demand in the comment section, I decided to pick up the Techno Puvo 4 Pro. Now if you want to see a comparison video between this smartphone and the regular Techno Puvo 4, do let me know in the comment section below. Now from the name the Puvo 4 Pro, it means this is going to be like an upgrade to the Techno Puvo 4. It was about time to head into the review of the smartphone and without taking much of your time, yo guys let's get started. Before we head into the full review, kindly hit on that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to join this awesome tech community. Now if you've been following the Techno Puvo series, you definitely know that this series is aimed at giving the user a maximum battery experience. And while the base unit is mostly focused on this, the Pro or Plus variants, depending on how they call it that year, is actually focused on giving you a little more push in performance. Now before we head into talking about the performance of the smartphone here, Let's get to see what comes off the box with the Techno Puvo 4 Pro. The box for the Puvo 4 Pro isn't as flat as the one from the regular 4. This time you get something similar in size to what we got from the Camon 15 and the Spark 5. On opening it for the first time, you see the phone with a sticker that reads a quick spec overview and your first impression here would be to notice how large this smartphone is. Let's get the phone aside for now. In this smaller box you can find the same jelly case to protect your smartphone a 12 plus 1 warranty sticker and also the SIM ejector tool to the side. Other items found within this box include the earphone with an audio jack plug, a micro USB cable for data transfer and obviously to charge. Also you get an 18 watt charger this time for a quick charge which is a very much welcome addition to this smartphone. I remember I did complain in the Techno Puvo 4 review that the front side looked like something out of 2019 because of the dew drop notch at the front and that's the exact same thing you get from the Techno Puvo 4 Pro, same design at the front. The build quality you get here is really amazing and from the rear with the camera module design, you get a taste of what most 2020 smartphones feel like. The left side, which houses not just only the regular dual nano SIM slot, with a dedicated micro SD card slot, this time has a red accented button, dedicated to your Google Assistant, while the right side has the three usual buttons, mapping to the volume rocker keys and the power button. To the front, you get the 7 inch display with the front firing speaker and a dewdrop notch. The bottom side, while faced up, has from left to right the mouthpiece opening, a 3.5mm jack port micro USB 2 port and a down firing speaker grille. Flip it to the back and we can see a quad camera module with LED flash, the biometric fingerprint sensor and the Techno Puvo 4 branding. Like most other smartphones right now, this device tends to be a fingerprint magnet at the rear and is better off using a case or the jelly case from within the box. Over to the display, you get a 7 inch LCD panel with a resolution at 720 by 1640, which is HD with a dew drop notch, a 20.5 by 9 aspect ratio, 480 nits of brightness. Now you get the idea, basically the same as the original 4 variants. Media consumption is up to par with the competition and you get a standard color reproduction, vibrant LCD display and most importantly, that massive display definitely gets you immersed in media consumption despite you having a dewdrop notch. Speaking of the dewdrop notch at the front of this device, you can pretty much hide it from the display settings but why do? Why would you do that? Now high OS 6.1 on top of Android 10 is what you're running on the Puva 4 Pro. So there are features such as the dark mode on a techno device and more of those removable bloatware apps on iOS. Microphone recordings are on point here and that's to say this mic picks up clear audio for your calls and recording as you're going to notice from this playback. Hey guys, Oscar here and this is a voice recording on the techno Puva 4 Pro. This is a smartphone that features 4 gigs in RAM and 64 gigs internal storage and also the Helio P22 processor. What does this audio recording sound like? Do let me know in the comment section below. In terms of the speakers, they sound amazing and that's because you're getting a stereo speaker here at the bottom and the top side of the smartphone. So better and louder audio and you wouldn't have to give much thoughts as to covering up the sound from one corner of the phone and here's what it sounds like. I need to know everything, who in the what in the where I need everything. Now we're about to talk about the performance of the Techno Puvo 4 Pro. Let me give you guys a quick specification of the smartphone. You get the P22 Helio MediaTek processor, same as what you get from the Techno Camon 15. And also you have 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. 
making this device a strong contender with the Camon 15 as to where to put your money. In fact, I think I might have to compare these two smartphones in another video. What do you guys think? As a custom has always been, I had to test out a couple games including PUBG. It was pretty much playable, similar experience with the Camon 15 and the game did max out at balanced graphics and medium frame rates in my test. Moving over to the battery, that is obviously where the Puvara does shine and rule. You get a 6000mAh battery capacity on the smartphone. I'm sure that doesn't come as a shock but what does come as a shock is how long lasting the battery experience with this device is. A full 2 day on a single charge use is easily achievable on this Puvo 4 Pro and it is one of the best I have used in terms of battery on a smartphone yet. The only downside from the Puva 4 which was put into consideration this time on the Puva 4 Pro is the 18 watt charger within the box which juices up this 6000mAh battery in a shorter time. Even though we know the cameras and the first thing that come to mind when you talk about the Puva series, you do get decent photos coming off the smartphone. First off, the camera module at the rear features from top to bottom a 2 megapixel depth sensor, the 16 megapixel main lens, 5 megapixel ultra wide which doubles as a macro lens and the QVGA sensor for low light photography. And these lenses are paired with a quad LED flash also at the rear. While to the front, you also get a 16 megapixel front facing camera which is quite interesting. Photos as earlier mentioned are decent with good lighting being the determinant here but the images produced tend to break down if you have poor lit environments or conditions. As far as I'm concerned, these photos are pretty much usable especially for your social media needs. You also get the ultra wide lens for those wide shots to get a lot of coverage in a single shot. But I'd rather take a few steps back to capture photos using the main 16 megapixel sensor whenever I can than that ultra wide. The main lens is simply better. The front facing camera also does a nice job as can be seen here. Good exposure, bright images and color reproduction. All in all, a solid camera for photos with the prize in view. Videos on the other hand can be made with a maxed out resolution of 1080p 30fps on both the front and rear cameras. But one thing to take note of is video is obviously not the best feature of the Puva 4 Pro. But as far as getting the job done, this is on point. It's a sunny day and here is the front facing camera test for Techno Puva 4. What do you think about it? How does it sound? Do let me know in the comment section below. You should be able to pick up the Puva 4 Pro for 65,000 Naira or about $165 which is $25 more than the Puva 4 and about the same price as the Camon 15. So what are my final thoughts here? I honestly think the Techno Puva 4 Pro does bring a lot of value for money right now especially at the price point at which this device is being sold. And the key points being right now as a time of making this video. As long as you do not mind the size as this is a big smartphone and you think you love the Techno Puva series with the quality build you get here plus the amazing battery being your top priority then this might be your next stop. So would the Techno Puva 4 Pro be a better device than the Camon 15? Hit on that subscribe button to stay notified when I upload the comparison video between this and the Camon 15. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do not forget to like and share this video. Other than that, it's goodbye. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Quit that day.